November 9, 1990. Our champion, Stan Newman, is returning with $9,900 and is two steps away from the ultimate challenge. Here's a news analyst, Randall Caldwell. And this is a business consultant, Dan Lubin. Stan is the champion. Randall and Dan, you are the challengers. And now, here is your master of the challenge, Dick Clark. Thank you, gentlemen, very much. Hi. It's a Friday. Everybody's whipped up into a frenzy. Stan, you've almost won ten thousand bucks, a hundred dollars short right. of that. My first Not salary bad. as a teacher. Uh, a year. <laughs> that's good money no matter what you're in. And uh, I don't wish you any good or bad luck as it must be equal to everybody. Randall and Dan are here to see that you stop this whole foolishness. But good luck to all of you gentlemen because any player who wins three games in a row will have a shot at our ultimate challenge which has now grown to $29,000. Now I'm going to reveal those categories in just a second or two. We go first of all to the sprint round which I hold in my hot little hand. We'll start you all off with a uh, $200 stake in the game. And remember, the person with the most money at the end of the game uh, gets the shot at the first uh, category. And that, that gives you a little bit of an advantage, which is kind of nice. We'll set the timer for one minute right now. Stand by. Here's your first question. What popular talk show host refers to his place of employment as beautiful downtown Burbank? Stan? Uh, Donahue. Donahue? Wrong. Johnny Carson. <laughs> In Russian waters. The KGB seized and then released the ship of anti-nuclear activists from what environmental group? Dan? Greenpeace. Correct. Georgia Frontieri is to football's LA Rams as Marge Schott is to what baseball team? Stan? Cincinnati Reds. Correct. Name the singer now planning a one-man Broadway show who won five Grammys for his song, King of the Road. Stan? Roger Miller. Correct. Name the legendary American hero who has a blue ox named Babe. Randall? Paul Bunyan. Correct. Three weeks ago, President Bush recommended that Eastern European economies receive more IMF funds. What does IMF stand for? Stan? International Monetary Fund. Correct. What's the familiar French phrase we use for social blunder that literally means false step? Randall? Faux pas. Faux pas is correct. You got in before the bell. Oh, golly, thank you so much. They call on my attention. We have a tie, and we'll break that tie between Randall and Stan. Stand by for this one. Name the American politician who lost his life in a duel with Aaron Burr. Randall? Hamilton. You are correct, sir. That does break the tie. Gives you a little bit of an edge there, and the money you earn today goes into your Citibank Visa account. It applies to all of you, and the cash and benefits in the account are yours to keep. We're all set to play. First half of the game. These are the subjects. Broadway openings, women in aviation, they're all tens, astrology, TV this weekend, and spicy foods. Randall? Let's try TV this weekend. TV this weekend and check out what we have on NBC, ABC, and PBS. Higher the value at the top of the question to make your wager, if you will, now. All right, two of you going for the $150 question, Stan and Dan, stand by. Tonight on NBC, you can see a scientist travel back in time to the Watts riot of 1965. It takes place on what popular series? Stan? Quantum Leap. Quantum Leap's right for $150, Randall for $200. This Sunday on ABC, you can see the TV adaptation of Call Me Anna. The story is based on the best-selling autobiography of what actress? Patty Duke. Patty Duke is right for $200. You hold on to the control of the game, and there are a lot of subjects over there. Which one would you like? How about Broadway opening? All right. For $150, we have imports, we have adaptations, and revivals all on Broadway openings. Time to make a bet, gentlemen. All right. Two of you going for the $250 question. We'll go to that in a moment, Dan, for $200. Name the musical opening on Broadway next week that began its life as a novel by James Clavell, then became a TV miniseries starring Richard Chamberlain. Shogun. That's right, for $200. Stan and Randall for $250, opening on Broadway last Saturday night, was a revival of the beloved musical Fiddler on the Roof. Its star, Topol, will be playing what main character? Randall? Tevya. That is right for $250. And this is going to be one whale of a game, folks. I can feel it in the air. Good luck to all of us. We'll be back in a minute to continue our game right here on The Challenger. Randall, you're a 
news analyst. Uh, you work for a television station or something? Really? No, I work for an oil company. Uh, I work in a news bureau for an oil company. We track news stories that are pertinent to the oil business. And... You're all by yourself in there? No, in fact, I want to thank my co-workers, Sandy, Tim, and John, for working extra hard so I could be here today. Oh, they're covering, Shh, don't anybody tell. He's here playing <laughs> games, folks. Stan, uh, how many crossword puzzle editors are there in the world? I mean, it can't be a lot of you. Not guys. very many. It's not exactly a profession most people can make a lot of money on. As a Wall Street refugee, it was the only choice I had after my second layoff, right after the big crash. And it's a lot of fun, and I'm doing better than I ever did. Terrific. I'm happy for you. Now, Dan, you and I share something in common. I travel an awful lot, but you've done something I've never never quite accomplished been to all of the states in the union not alaska you missed alaska missed alaska win a little money we'll ship you up there and you'll get a look at it uh, speaking of winning uh, gentlemen we have several subjects left over there for to be specific and randall it's your choice if you'll select one we'll get underway how about women in aviation women in aviation all right we have amelia Earhart, sally k ride and supergirl they range from <laughs> women in aviation of course please make your wager now all right, for $200, Randall and Dan stand by for this one. In 1983, space shuttle astronaut Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. Three years later, she was on a commission investigating the explosion of that same shuttle, named the shuttle. Randall? The Challenger. That is right, sir, for $200. Stan, for $250. Supergirl made her first appearance in the issue... 252, 252 of the same comic in which Superman first appeared. Name that comic. Action Comics. That's right. You remember well. Stan, where do we go now? Oh, this is a tough one, but we'll go for they're all tens. They're all tens? You may be surprised. We have ten, tennis, and tennis son. Maybe what you were expecting. Gentlemen, place a wager. All right, uh, we'll go to the $150 10 question, Stan. In the movie 10, Dudley Moore fell in love with his vision of a 10 played by Bo Derek, who played Moore's jilted girlfriend. Julie Andrews. You are right for $150. Dan and Randall stand by now for $200. The Davis Cup final opens November 30th in St. Petersburg, Florida, between the United States and which country? Dan? Australia. That's right. For $200, you take over the picking here. You want astrology or spicy foods? Better go with spicy foods. Spicy foods it is. We have Mexican appetizers, Chinese cuisine, and Korean dishes. Mm -hmm. Where do you want to place your wager? <laughs> Art Stan and Dan stand by for a $150 question. A Mexican appetizer made up of mainly melted cheese over tortilla chips rhymes with this Spanish word meaning vero. Name that dish. Dan? Nachos. Yes, indeed, as in macho, nacho. You got it? And Randall, for $200, the spiciest Chinese dishes, such as Kung Pao chicken, come from two regions in China. One region is Hunan. Name the other. Sichuan. That is right, for $200. You've taken over control. We have astrology is the only one left, so let me call out the question for you. We've got symbols, stars, and signs. Pick one, make a wager. All right, two of you going for the symbol question for $150, Stan and Dan. What male animal is the astrological symbol for the sign of Taurus? Stan? The bull. The bull is right. Randall, for $250, get ready to look at the video wall and tell me which astrological sign is represented here. Cue the wall. Aries. Aries is right for $250. Congratulations. Hey, by the way, a reminder, next week, Monday through Friday, you'll be seeing nine of our top money winners as they compete in our very first tournament of champions for thousands of dollars in cash. I promise you, these are all winners. They're all great. It's going to be very exciting. Don't miss it, and we'll be right back to play the second round. We'll double the value of all of the questions when we come back. and current events questions are verified by Newsweek magazine. And now let's get back to the challenger. John Moore got a good game going here on a Friday. It's uh, fairly close. Dan, you can do a little pickup here with the double value questions coming up. Randall, you're out in front with $1,600. We have double the values, and here are the new categories. We have world drama, names in the news, all about Greece, cool people, cinema 1990, and for Trekkies only, Randall, it's your pick. 
Let's try cool people. Cool people. We have Robert Frost, Shelley Winters, and Refrigerator Perry. These are cool people, folks. Place your wager. All right, uh, we'll go to you, Stan, first of all, for the $400 question on Shelley Winters. In her best-selling autobiography, actress Shelley Winters revealed that she once had an affair with what swashbuckling actor? Connery. No, sir. Errol Flynn. Hmm. Uh, well, <laughs> I don't want to make any further comment because I can get in trouble with Ms. Winters. In any case, you've lost $400 on that. Uh, Dan and Randall for $500. Pro football player William Refrigerator Perry was the NFL's first 350-pound defensive lineman to score a touchdown as a running back. Name the coach who called the play. Dan? Mike Ditka. Mike Ditka of the Chicago Bears. Congratulations. Dan was one of these remaining five. Cinema 1990. Cinema 1990 deals with satire, comedy, and action. Gentlemen, it's time to activate your wager. All right, two of you going for the $400 comedy question. Randall and Stan, stand by. In the film The Freshman, Matthew Broderick is hired to help smuggle an endangered species of lizard known as a Komodo what? Stan? Dragon. Dragon is right. That puts you back in there nice and solid. Game is very close. Dan, for $500, looked at the video wall and will watch a scene from the movie State of Grace. Roll the film, please. Okay, you gotta let me see no, this thing out. Hey, come on. No, don't stop. Don't stop. No, just don't. Don't do this. You let me talk. No. All righty. Name the actress who plays Sean Penn's love interest in this film, who also played the title role in The Princess Bride. Robin Wright. You are absolutely right for five hundred dollars. A, a sigh of relief from over there, Dan. Which one of the last four? Let's try names in the news. Check them out. We have, they are in the comics, conspirators, and commentators. Three to five hundred dollars. All of you going for the five hundred dollar question that immediately makes it worth one thousand dollars. Everything doubles in value. Stand by, all of you. Name the man who has been called upon often recently to comment on events in the Middle East who shared the Nobel Peace Prize with the late Le Duc Tho. Dan? Henry Kissinger. Henry Kissinger is right for $1,000. Put you right up there. This is virtually three-way race now. Do you want to keep on with it? Or you, uh... I'll press my luck with comics, Dick. Comics for $600. Look to the video wall. We'll clear it off and get a picture up there for you. If you know your comics, you know that's Dennis the Menace. Forty years ago, last month, who created him? Ketchum. Ketchum is right for $600. Want to go for the $800 one? No, thank you. <laughs> good move. All right, I don't know whether it's a good move or not. You've got $2,700, a close game all around, Stan. Where do we go? Well, since I've been a Trekkie, since I was old enough to almost read, I've got to go for Trekkies only. All right, let's see what we have. The original series, the movies, and the next generation. For Trekkies only, gentlemen, place your wager. All right, let's go for the $400 question. Randall and Dan. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, was directed by the man who starred as Mr. Spock. Name him. Randall. Leonard Nimoy. Correct for $400 for five, Stan. Star Trek The Next Generation has a new captain and crew, but one of the executive producers is the man who created the original Star Trek. Name him. Roddenberry. That's right for $500. And the game stays pretty close. Two subjects left over there, Sam. As we say in Brooklyn, how about some world drama? World drama it is. All right. All right, we've got drama today, drama in the 1930s, and drama 400 B.C. Gentlemen, if you will, please bet. All right, let's go to the $300 question, Stan. Uh, drama today. The 1990 Tony Award-winning best play recently ended its Broadway run. The play is an adaptation of what novel by John Steinbeck? Grapes of Wrath. That's right, for $300. Dan and Randall for $400. There were few props, little scenery, and the stage manager talked directly to the audience. Name that 1938 play by Thornton Wilder. Randall? Our Town. Our Town is for $400, correct. Only one subject left. Let's take a look at the questions regarding all about Greece. We have Greek food, Greek landmarks, and Greek writers. Gentlemen, it's time to wager. All right, we have uh, two of you going for the $300 question on Greek food. That is Stan and Dan. 
The most recognizable foods and drinks of Greece include moussaka, ouzo, and a goat's milk cheese named what? Stan? Feta. Feta cheese is right. And we have Greek landmarks for you, Randall. The fortified hill in the center of ancient Athens is known as the Acropolis. What is the name of the temple on the Acropolis dedicated to the goddess Athena? The Parthenon. Parthenon's right for $400. You gentlemen have done very well, and that sound means we're up to the final challenge. This is going to be a really interesting race because you all got a lot to play with in terms of money. If you're set, let's check the final challenge of the day, and it is English literature. Oh, I can see they love every minute of it, and we'd we'll rather to see how they play that money they have in front of them right after this. Players today receive a Citibank Visa account with all the distinct benefits and exclusive services that make it America's most widely used Visa card. And now, back to the final challenge, and here's your host, Dick Clark. Well, as we went into this thing and I said the final challenge category is English literature, all the guys went, Ooh. It may not be that bad, gentlemen. Oh. You never know. <laughs> I, I mean, or it could be that bad. Who knows? Stan, you've got $3,800. Randall, $2,800. Dan, 1850 it's going to be a good race because you all have lots of money to play around with. Here are the questions. The first one, at even odds, about novelists. You can double your wager on biographers, triple it on diarists. And if you will, think about it for 15 seconds. Now select the question, make your final wager of the day. I want to remind you one thing. You know, the highest wager gets the question. And with the amount of money you have in front of you, which is yours, by the way, to keep, you are gambling with your own money, and the challenge is yours. to tell you this is going to be very exciting for us i don't know what you guys are going through but this is really hot stuff dan you have eighteen hundred and fifty dollars how are you playing it well i've chosen diarists for one thousand dollars randall you had twenty eight hundred dollars of your own money what did you decide to do now this is not my category but i'm betting the farm on the novelist oh boy all right there we go Stan, where do you stand? Sorry, Dan, I'm going for the diarist for 28.05. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Dan, the interesting thing about this is when this all plays out, I think I'm correct in saying if these gentlemen don't answer correctly, you will win, so it's not over. I mean, I want to, don't you wash it out here. All right, let's see where we start with Randall. First of all, you uh, decided to go for everything, $2,800 at even odds. That's a grand total of $5,600 on this question. In a 1932 novel, English author Aldous Huxley described a future society that eliminates individuality and personal liberty. For $5,600, name that novel. 1984. No, sir. Oh. Brave New World. I'm sorry. Gosh, it's a tough break. Stan? Hi, Dick. Hi, Stan. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't leave, Randall. I know you're going to beat your head against the wall there, but uh, hang in there. The Arithmetic. 2805, three times, 8,415. This is a grand total of $12,215. On the other hand, Dan, if he fails, you are the winner. Hang in there. An English diary written mainly in shorthand and not published until 1825 vividly described the great fire that destroyed much of London in the year 1666 for $12,215. Who wrote that diary? Peeps. You are right, sir. For $12,215, oh, you won it, you took it away, and the grand total is $22,115. Oh Dan, thank you very much. Randall, thank you for a good talk. Can I add something here that you are unaware of now, no. until just this moment? <laughs> You've won a lot of money, but say. you have now joined the round that plays next week. Oh All of the returning God. champions. The big winner, Joe, will be one of the nine. You can add thousands of 
more dollars next week in that special tournament of champions. Congratulations. Oh That'll be a very exciting Monday through Friday next week on the Challengers. Don't miss it. Then we'll return to our regular play. So pass the word. You'll want to watch Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week's Challengers. Have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you Monday. For now, Dick Clark. So long. Some contestants today will receive Ferrero Rocher, the nutty, crunchy, smooth, and crispy milk chocolate experience. With Ferrero Rocher, expect the unexpected. And new Niagara Professional Finish Heavy Spray starts for that fresh-from-the-cleaners look. At Koala Springs, sparkling natural mineral water with a...